What's going on guys? My name is Jesse. Some of you may know me as the Death of an Arrow. Welcome to my Halo 4 Legendary walkthrough. I've decided to go through with this series in hopes to help you out if you are struggling with this campaign. I have removed all the cutscenes from all the videos in this series, but be warned, there will be spoilers. I also want to remind you guys that these videos are meant to be strictly strategic and I'm not focusing on entertainment value. The commentary will not go all the way through the missions. I will only speak of the tough to be parts with the best advice I have for you, the viewers. Please leave a rating if this video is helpful or informative in any way as I would really appreciate it. If you have any questions regarding anything you see in this video, do not hesitate to leave a comment. Also, be sure to check out my channel for the latest Halo 4 videos and drop a subscription if you like what you see. Let's get into this. What's going on guys? Death of an Era here. Welcome back to my Halo 4 Legendary walkthrough. I hope it is helping you guys out so far. Welcome to mission number 2, Rally Point Alpha. As you can see right off the bat here, I am fast forwarding. The reason I'm doing this is because it's uh, pretty boring and all you need to do is pretty much run through a cave. Once we get through this cave, however, um, there will be a Warthog and you need to do a little bit of driving. And the Warthogs in this game look pretty freaking sweet, I must say that. Uh, they did an overall really good job in the overall graphics. And right here is probably one of the best examples. Just look at the detail all around the map. It is unbelievable. Uh, I'm a huge fan. But uh, anyways, just run up here as you see me do. There's going to be a weapon crate on the left-hand side over here. There's going to be a battle rifle in it. I would encourage you guys to pick this up. It's going to help you out quite a bit in the next few minutes. After you do that, hop in this Warthog, uh, take a little adventure down this road, and I'll be back in a few seconds. So once we get to this section here, you can see I just slowed it back down. You're going to see me hop out of the Warthog in a few seconds here, and I don't want to push too far forward. And the reason I do this is just because I don't want to push into the enemies and just die. Uh, you're going to die if you push straight up, so when you get to about right here, I would encourage you guys to jump out of the Warthog. And you see me run over this grunt, and the reason I do it is because I notice he had a Fuel Rod Cannon on his shoulder. And I want this Fuel Rod Cannon, it's going to help me out in a few seconds here. So once you grab that, there's a, quite a few ways you can push through this section here. Uh, the best way is definitely just take out those enemies from a long range. There's a ton of grunts here. So again, just shoot them in the head, get the one shot in the head kill, and you should not have an issue. There's also a ton of jackals. Again, with the jackals, you're going to see they have a shield. Again, just shoot them in the exposed hand, and then they will flinch and then get the headshot on them. You'll take them out very easy. Uh, with this tower here, you see I blew it up with the Fuel Rod Cannon. That's actually why I picked up the Fuel Rod Cannon. Uh, it's pretty useful. You can take out that tower very, very quickly if you do have a Fuel Rod Cannon. But uh, don't worry, if you don't get the Fuel Rod Cannon, it's not a big deal. There's a weak Jackal up there. He's a one-shot kill in the head. So just take your time, take him out, and make sure he doesn't get the best of you. Uh, right over here, we see a Carbine Crate. This is going to be very beneficial in a few minutes to you. If you run out of ammo for the Battle Rifle, which you will at some point in time, you're going to want to fall back and grab some Carbine Ammo from right there. So again, from a long range, you can see where I'm scoped in right now. I'm taking out the guy in the turret. I just want to make sure I don't get caught off guard when I do push up. That tower over there in the right-hand corner is where you need to push through to get to the next section of this map. So right here, you can see I'm just watching my boundaries. I'm keeping an eye on my motion sensor, and I'm taking out all the enemies around me. Once you're done that, you can make a safe push up to that next tower and make your next move towards the next section of this campaign mission. I'll be back in a few seconds when I get over there.
All right, so now that we have made a safe push all the way to this section, there's going to be one more elite right around this corner. I have a fuel rod cannon, so it's going to be fairly easy for me to take him out. If you don't have a fuel rod cannon, uh, there's a ton of ways you can take out elites quick and easy. One of the most effective ways would probably have to be with the plasma pistol, a full charge right to the body, and then you can pop him off with one headshot. So that's a uh, pretty straightforward and easy part. So you should not have any difficulties with that. Uh, right around this corner, just be prepared. There's a few grunts. A few of them have fuel rod cannons, and this did catch me off guard a couple of times. So just make sure you scope around that corner, get the upper hand uh, before they do on you, and take them out quick and effective. I don't suppose you have a plan for that. We could always ask nicely. Asking's not my... So this section, you can see I'm running pretty low on ammo, and you're going to see me turn around. I'm going to actually fast forward this part. I'm going to turn around and go grab some carbine ammo from the carbine crate right at the entrance to the caves here. And the reason I do this is just because I need ammo, and I want a precision rifle to get through these parts. So just remember, there's a ton of ammo crates loaded all around the map, so you just got to kind of keep an eye open for them, and uh, just be aware of where they are. So once that is done, I'm going to push back up here. So there's a few grunts here on the left-hand side. Just keep an eye on them. Make sure they do not shoot you with that fuel rod cannon. So I focus on the little guys first, and you'll see me do this quite a bit throughout the campaign. If there is multiple enemies, let's for example say there's four grunts, two jackals, and an elite. I will focus on the grunts and the jackals before I take out the elite. The reason being is because these guys can be the most powerful. There is multiple of them, and they will shoot you, and they will take advantage of you, and basically destroy you if you're caught off guard. So right here you see me scope in, take out the sniper up top. This almost caught me off guard as well, I died a few times from it. So just make sure you drop him, he is the only sniper located on the top there, so that's all you need to worry about. Once the grunts and the jackals are eliminated, you see me just push in and take out the elite there with little to no difficulty. So as long as you're accurate with your precision rifle, those headshots will be beneficial. Again, another alternative is you can pick up a plasma rifle, or a plasma pistol, sorry, get the full charge shot on them, it'll deplete their shields and you can kill them with one headshot. So moving around this section, I went to the left hand side here, you can also go to the right, it's really up to you. I just felt more comfortable moving to the left so I did so. There's a gold elite here. The gold elites are a little bit more powerful and uh, he almost got the best of me. So I made a pretty aggressive move I guess you could say here in taking him out. So I would not recommend rushing in and going for the kills just because it can catch you off guard and it most likely will result in a death. But uh, my aim was pretty good there and I got him out and I took him out really quickly. So. It's all a matter of how you want to go about it. If you want to take your time and be slow and uh, take your time moving around, you should not have an issue. But either way, the gold elites are just a little bit more powerful than the blue elites, so the same rules do apply for taking them out. So you can see I'm scoped in around this corner. There's a few more jack jackals. Again, with them, just shoot them in the hand and get the headshot on them. It'll be the most quick and effective way to take them out. And again, this is why I recommend moving forward with a precision rifle throughout the campaign. If you have an assault rifle at this point in time, you're going to have a pretty difficult time moving past this part and taking out these enemies. So right here you can see I jump over the rock and the reason I did this is because the first time I went through this I actually got caught off guard by a grunt down here. One that had a fuel rod cannon, he shot me and killed me, but it doesn't appear that there's any fuel rod cannons this time. So which, whichever approach you want to take over that rock, I would recommend just jumping it over it so you have a height advantage and then that way you can fall back easy to cover and you won't get caught off guard. Once you have that done, just simply push up these stairs. There's a few grunts that you need to take out on this main level. Again, with the headshots, just one shot in the head. You should not have an issue. Again, with the jackals, one shot in the hand. They'll flinch back and get the headshot as you just saw there. Once this level is complete, I'll be back in a few seconds. Alright, so once we've taken out those enemies on that level, you're going to notice there's a ramp here, and we just saw a guy with a sword. This is the guy that you need to be most aware of when you're pushing up this section. He is uh, going to be a force to be reckoned with, to say the least. He's invisible, and he does have a sword. So just do not get caught off guard by him. So again, there's a few ways you can take out the elites. Headshots, and the noob combo, or the plasma pistol, 
and precision rifle combo, whichever way you want to call it. Uh, you can take them out quick and easy like that. I still have a fuel rod cannon, so it's pretty easy for me to get through this part. I take out the jackals with little to no difficulty. After you progress through this part, that pretty much wraps up this rally point. If you want to continue on with my walkthrough, please be sure to hit that annotation in the top right or go check out my channel for the official playlist and tune in for the next episode. And if this video was helpful and, or informative in any way, please leave a rating. I would really appreciate it and it really does help out my channel. And that's pretty much all I got for you guys. So if you want to share this video via Facebook and Twitter with somebody that is struggling with the campaign, that would also be great. But that's all I got for you guys in this episode. Be sure to tune into the next one. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll run a soft patch to it from the suit. Never know what might come in handy. There's that phantom signal again. I heard something that time. Cloud of regret, have a